What's up, everybody? I'm Novo coming at you with another one. Had a request to have a look at AMD. And you can see that we had the classic W pattern, and now we're in a flag working our way down. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Like that. And I'm just logging this as a support line around 74 bucks, And I'm also showing that as a support line. So we need to stay above this line, obviously, uh, as we travel down this channel. Uh, and then we will likely, it looks like it might actually consolidate, not really a flag pattern. Um, but if we were to break out, say, right about here, you know, if we were to go out and then break out, uh, odds are, that would be a repeat and i mean the way they normally draw the flag pole etc is from the bottom to the top and then they would do that pretty much the same thing right uh but i like i like showing this angle because what happens is uh, we go off to the next angle, I think. So we're right about 99. Oops. 99. Like that. Let me move this guy back here. Uh, yeah, close enough. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing this is if we decide to take off, we're likely going to be one of these tangents, right? And the shallower, the longer it's going to take to get to 99, essentially. And that would be a trading uh, target for those that are just going in for the swing. And that would be right about there. So that means uh, we're probably looking at a target. Hey, let's get tucks out here. Probably looking at a target of around, well, we're going to break the $100 mark uh, if this plays out. Uh, 117, I'd say a conservative 115, just in case. 114.72. Let's say 114.50. So text. Um, it, I think that they are probably going to try and target that. And when is that going to happen? Let's do a vertical line to a date, roughly uh, beginning of July. Uh, and then it'll be a continuation, right? So we had a market crash. Now we're in a correction, um, basically meaning that your favorite stocks are all going on sale. Um, fear and pandemonium is a way for the patient to receive a deal from the impatient or the, uh, the afraid. Um, and I think that something like so, uh, could happen and the channel we should start watching is obviously this one and maybe, uh, this one. So let's see if we get anywhere along here as we head up towards uh, 114.50. Let's do a vertical line. Is it messy enough for you yet? 114.50. Okay, it's a little off, but um, that is likely where we're going to go when this recovers. We're just waiting to see where is the bottom, right? So we're going to be testing the $74 range, uh, and then we'll be testing the $58.55. When we see a breakout, we can recalculate and see where this uh, final episode is going to finish. Let's turn on some moving averages and such. And zooming in. So uh, we broke down below the 111 
uh, and we almost wicked down to the uh, 200. Is this is this lined up correctly? Holy cow! Ah, close enough. We we almost hit that 18. That might have been the buy. So we'll maybe a double bottom uh, close to that, but maybe up a little higher, like a quasi double bottom, um, and then we'll we'll head up and start testing out trajectories. Looking at the weekly, yeah, we're below the we're below the twenty week. That's um, that's a that's a tough one, and the fifty week is right around that support level that we're watching. So we may not actually come all the way down here and touch. Um, people will be watching this, and maybe it'll fake people out. Uh, all come close. To the price and then start heading up or maybe it'll be you know another uh, a lower double bottom um, but it's a great company right um, long term let's look at monthly long term what has amd been doing would you have bought that candle or would you have been afraid and look where we are now. I think it's just, um, it's just another test and uh, sell off. Now, if you want to go and do some fundamentals, um, look up graphics cards and see if you can find any online. If you do, they're three thousand uh, dollars or more uh, for the top gaming cards. Uh, they're sold out because all the miners are buying them so that they could mine ethereum as fast as they can um, a lot of them are being sold uh, on the market privately for i don't know 40 percent above msrp and uh, amd cannot keep up um, i think i think there was an article about amd bringing back older models into production because they can't keep up so take that take that information as you will um i think uh, amd is here to stay obviously because the the world just gets more tech and uh, uh we've we've discussed our potential targets i don't really have anything else to say that the what you do need to find out is when we get a confirmation this could just be a fake out again and then we continue up again uh, when we get a confirmation, we will likely be somewhere in this range expansion, uh, heading back up to higher highs, and then things might get a little crazy once we break the all-time high again, right? So it'll probably grind here uh, till about, what is that, June? And then we could go, pow, up to this resistance line. Let's see if it plays out that way. Uh, and those are your zones, right? Uh, Hail Mary down around 58. Likely support at around 74. This could be a fake out and we're headed back up. Uh, didn't quite touch the 200. That's a potential buy location there. And then targets for uh, swing traders will probably be up around uh, 114.50. All right. And that is it. Trade safe.